Hello students. Hope you all are safe. Welcome to your English class. And I also hope that you may have learned the previous poem. Poem number 1.4. Children are going to school. Students, today you will be studying some important value based story. Students, you must have heard many forest stories of different birds and animals from your parents, grandparents or your friends. Aren't they interesting? Yes, of course, they are interesting. And they also teach us many moral values. So students, today you will be studying one important story of two birds. They are the peacock and the crane. It is an interesting story and also give us important moral. So, let us begin with our story. Chapter number 1.6 The Peacock and the Crane Students, I want you all to listen the story carefully. There was once a very conceited peacock who had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. So, when he met a crane one day, the peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and dull feathers and immediately spread his own colorful tail for the crane to see and admire. Look at my feathers, he boasted. How they shine in all the colors of rainbow, while yours are so pale. I am dressed like a king. That's true, the crane answered. But I can fly high above, among the clouds and the stars, and I can see all the beauty of the earth in all its glory, while you live down here just like any other cock. Fine feathers don't make fine birds. Once there was a very conceited peacock in the woods. Children, Conceited meaning very proud and arrogant. He had a gorgeous tail like no other bird. Children, gorgeous mean beautiful and very magnificent. Some of the other birds were very envy of his colorful and shiny feathers. Many birds wish to have the colorful feathers like those of the peacock. The peacock was very proud of his colorful and beautiful appearance. Other birds were jealous of this behavior. The peacock always used to boost his colorful feathers. One day, the peacock went to the riverside to drink some water. There, he came across the green. When the peacock saw the dull and colorless feathers of the crane, he laughed and scoffed at crane's feathers. Children, scoffed meaning laughed at rudely at the crane's feathers. As usual, the peacock started boosting about his feathers. The proud peacock immediately spread his colorful and shiny feathers in front of the crane and disappointedly said to him, Look at my feathers, how they shine in all the colors of the rainbow, while yours are so pale and dull, and I am dressed like a king. But the clever crane was not at all impressed by the peacock's feathers, and the crane simply said that they were good looking, but they are of no use. What do you mean? said the peacock. Yes, that's true, the crane answered. I have dull and pale feathers, that's true. But I can fly high above among the clouds and the stars. And I can see all the beauty of the earth in all its glory. While you live down here just like any ordinary cock. By hearing this sentence, the peacock realized his mistake. 
and learnt a moral from the green that fine feathers don't make fine birds means something that looks beautiful may not be really useful and thus students you must have also learned that looks and beauty are not very important in life important is to be a good person with good qualities so students what have you gained from this story that never be so proud of yourself one should always be humble and also remember that a pretty face is nothing if you have an ugly heart so students i hope you have understood the story and found it interesting too students take this as your assignment write the meanings given on page number 19 of your english textbook underline the difficult words and copy in your notebook and also try to write this story in your own words thank you